Hey guys, Thrift and Be here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a thrift haul. Surprise, surprise, another thrift haul. Um, so today is Mother's Day and for Mother's Day I chopped off my hair. It was time. My hair was getting way too heavy and it's starting to finally get warm and so I just, I just needed a change. So I took off quite a bit. Um, but it's okay, my hair grows back, right? I hope it does. Anyway, happy Mother's Day to all the mamas out there. Um, I probably won't be uploading this anywhere near Mother's Day, but I just want you to know that I'm wishing you a happy Mother's Day. Since it's Mother's Day, what is this mom to do? Go thrifting. Yes, yes, I went thrifting. Goodwill was having $5 dress sales, and so I went to go check out the Goodwill in my area, as well as I went shopping earlier in the week, and so I have a huge haul to share with you guys. But before I do, if you like thrifting videos, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Click it. Click it. No, just kidding. But please give this video a thumbs up. And if you like thrift hauls, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I mostly do thrift hauls, and every now and then I'll throw other content in there. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I want to share with you all the amazing things that I found during my two thrifting trips. If you've been watching my thrifting videos lately, you know that I've been thrifting not just for myself but also to resell on Poshmark. So I'm thinking of doing, well not just Poshmark, eBay as well, but I'm thinking of doing a video on what sold on eBay and Poshmark. So I might do that in the next few weeks or so depending on how sales go. I've actually been selling stuff which is really cool. Um, but let's get started with the items that I thrifted. But before I show you that, let me show you what my mom got me. My mom is so cute. She gets me Mother's Day presents. And so I recently broke my purse, actually, today. But she got me a new one. I got this super cute little Aldo purse. Um, and it's just this beautiful. And it's a crossbody. And I love it. So thank you, Mama. I really appreciate it. She does not need to get me a gift. I need to get her a gift. She's my mom. And I did get her a gift. I got her a purse, too, which is really funny. Um, but, yeah, I love my mom. Anyway, let me show you some of the books that we picked up. So these are actually for us, and I say us because my daughter also picked up some books. So the first book that I picked up is And the Mountains Echoed. It is by Khaled Hosseini. Hosseini? Hosseini? I'm not sure how you say his last name, but he wrote The Kite Runner and A Thousand Splendid Sons. So I read A, Ki a Kite Runner and I heard an audiobook of A Thousand Splendid Sons. I love those books. They were beautiful. I was in tears with A Thousand Splendid Sons. If you haven't read A Thousand Splendid Sons or Kite Runner, go do it now. Go to your library. Go look for it online. These books are amazing. And so I really like this author and I saw this in A Thousand and The Mountains Echo, so I'm sure it's just as amazing. And this book was $1.99. I love Goodwill for books because books are, can be expensive. I also picked up The Book Thief, um, so I know a lot of people read this in high school. I don't remember reading this in high school, and but I've heard a lot of great things about it. I think they even turned it into a movie, and so I just wanted to check it out, and this one was also $1.99. My daughter picked up the giant book of ghost stories. They've been getting really into ghost stories for some reason. But anyways, green tags were 50% off. So this one was only $1.99. Originally $3.99. She also picked up this book called Underwater. Don't know what it's about, um, but it was $1.99. I don't know how I feel. Oh no, that picture's fine. I was like, I don't know how I feel about that picture, but it's fine. I should probably read the back of that before I let her read it. Um, she also picked up Thomas Paine Common Sense. Don't know why, but she was really interested in it. And this one was also $1.99. And then I picked up Lauren Conrad's book Style. And this one was only $0.99. Cents. I actually really like Lauren Conrad. I love her stuff at Kohl's. And I just wanted to read it. Um, super cute cover, by the way. And so... I don't know. It intrigued me. So those are all of the books that I picked up. I think everything else is clothing, but let me go ahead and grab the bags. Oh my god. It's going to be a while. There's a lot of stuff. I'll try to rush through these. Um, again, I purchased stuff to resell, and then some stuff is for me. 
So the first thing that I picked up for resale are these kid Lego pants, new with tags. They just look really cool. They're the Lego brand, and again, they were new with tags. And they're in a size 13 years old. So I just thought they were intriguing. They're like insulated pants, so those are for reselling. I picked up this um, Bloomingdale's, the men's store shirt, in a size extra large. So it's just this checkered long sleeve shirt. The pattern is pink and black. Thought it was cute, so I'm going to put that in my Poshmark store. I also picked up this Banana Republic size large long sleeve shirt. I think I mentioned this in my last video. I hate men's shirts. I have to iron them, but they sell well, so that's what that looks like. You know, I'm, I'm always really worried about, like, colors because I've made the mistake of buying stuff with stains. Is that a stain? No, it's not a stain. Uh, buying stuff with stains. I think it's been, like, two or three shirts that I... It's hard to, to look through it entirely when you're at the store, and then you go and you're taking pictures and you're about to post it, and you find stains. See? Nope. Fuzzies. Anyway, I'm really careful about, like, color shirts. This one's actually fine, and it is Banana Republic. I picked up these shorts because I thought they were really cool looking. These are um, Route 66 Original Clothing Company. They're in a size 7, 8. I'm assuming that's a junior size. And I just thought they were really cool, so I'll be posting those on my Poshmark. I picked up these Breakwater shorts. So it's starting to get warm. I really just like the print on these, the cocktails. Um, and I'm going to post those for sale. Ah! It's falling. Sorry. Um, I picked up these Ink International. So they're just these, these black shorts. I'm really hoping these ones fit me because I like them. Um, but if not, I'll just post them. I picked up this Old Navy Extra Large shorts. And I think they're just shorts to go on top of a swimsuit. I just really liked it. I like that little yellow pocket. Um, so I'm going to be posting these for sale. My nose is itchy. I think it's a hair. Ah. Anyway, um, I picked up this pink rose dress. It's in a size medium. And I just really liked it. It's like a sweater material. Um, I like the print. I thought it was in really great condition. So I'm going to be posting that. I also picked up this Spirit Collection dress, super cute black dress, and it just like has a little tie at the neck, it's a high neck. I thought it was really, really pretty. It's in great condition, and I got, the, I got all of these clothes for a steal, so hopefully we can make some moolah out of it. I picked up this um, Mighty Pilates tank top. And it's like a racer back tank top. I just thought it was cool. Somebody who likes Pilates might want to get that. I also picked up... What are you? Are these the Volcom ones? I, I thought I had picked up some Volcom shorts. I'm not sure. Um, where is the brand? Yep, these are Volcom Mod Tech 34. So they're in a size 34. And they're just these like swim shorts. And I really like the pattern. So I'll be posting those. It's so funny how the different colors of the clothing make the color get all weird on my screen. Last item in that bag. I picked up these. It's called... I can't say this. Pronto Moda something something. I cannot say the name of it. But it's brand new with tags um, from TJ Maxx. So a TJ mask, it was $30. So I'll probably post it for like $20 or $15. And it's just this cute little print shirt. Little blouse. So I always try to grab stuff that's brand new with tags because it usually does really well. So my next bag of items. Oh, here's my receipt. I spend 20 bucks. So I picked up 
this. It's called Krizia Jeans Shirt, and it's in a size 8. And it's just this cute little jean top. I just, I don't even know the brand. I just really liked the way that it looked. I thought it was really cool, and I don't know, that, that was it. it. It was cool. I picked it up because I thought it was cool. Um, I picked up this Liz Claiborne size large. Just a button-down shirt. And it's in this cute little floral pattern. Yep, no stains. Again, light color. I always worry about light colors, but it didn't have any stains on it. Okay, so this shirt had a stain on it, but I loved it. It's for my kids, and it just says Derpy. Anyway, Derpy is best pony. I just thought it was really funny, and my daughter say Derpy a lot, so I got that for them. I also just picked up some tank tops for myself, because I like to sleep in tanks. So I got that one for myself, and I got this one for myself, and those tanks were just a dollar. I also picked up this spaghetti cami, this little cami for a dollar. Um, doesn't have a brand on it, but this one's just for me. The only thing that I realized, I'm a little chesty, just a little bit. These things, it, it has like the built-in support. They're really tight. Um, so I might have to figure out a way to take that off because really I just want this to sleep in. I don't need these to be all suffocated while I'm sleeping, so yeah, I gotta figure out how to get rid of that. The next shirt that I got was really interesting. Um, I saw it and I wasn't sure if I wanted to pick it up, but it's Zara and I've sold several Zara items. It's just interesting. It's like this green color top. I don't know if the color is coming off on on the webcam because I do these on the webcam because it just makes it easier than doing my whole camera setup. Anyways, I'm digressing, but it's like this pale green, kind of slime green. I don't know, but it's Zara and it's interesting and it's in really good condition in a size large. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. We'll see how it does. I just thought it was really interesting looking. It's in great condition. So we'll see if it sells. And if not, maybe I'll wear it. Um, the next thing that I picked up, I'm debating on whether it's going to be for me or if I'm going to post it for sale. I'll have to decide. But it is Divided, which is an H&M brand. And it's just this awesome coat. I might hold on to it for a little bit, wear it a few times because it still gets chilly here, and then maybe post it for sale. I don't know, but I like it. Um, and it's just this coat by H&M, and that's what it looks like. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so we'll see if I decide to post it or if I keep it or what I do with it, but I saw it. And I got it for an amazing price, so I decided to pick it up. Now for my Mother's Day finds. Yes, all of the items that I got on Thursday were great. I was very excited to find each and every item. But today's items were amazing. Amazing. So Goodwill was having $5 dress sales um, for Mother's Day. And I went to actually get stuff for myself, but of course, I feel like once you become a reseller, you're not just looking for yourself, you're always looking for something to sell. And I'm going to save my best find for the end, but I'm going to share with you guys some of the other amazing finds that I got. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you guys is this swimsuit. It is by Swim365. It's in a size 22. And it is a one-piece dress. So I heard from another reseller that these swimsuits, like the dress swimsuits, sell really well. I've never actually posted one because I've never purchased one. But we're going to try it out, see how it goes, see if it actually really sells. I'll keep you guys posted. I'll, if I do a what sold video, I'll let you know if this sells or not. But it's in excellent condition. It's a, it's a great size. I mean, I would love this swimsuit. It won't fit me. 
Um, but it's just, it's really pretty. And it was in the dress se section. So originally $7.99, but I only paid $5 for it. The next, <clears throat> excuse me, the next find is another swimsuit. Now this one was in the swimsuit section, but they only put it for $4.99, which is insane to me because this is a swimsuits for all swimsuit. And if you guys have been on their website, their swimsuits are, can be pretty pricey. And it's this beautiful, beautiful floral one piece in a size, I will tell you, hold please. What size are you? Um, I saw the size. It's in a size, also a size 22. So I might bundle these two or hopefully someone will buy them together. We'll see. But it's a one piece and it's pretty and it's floral and I love it. And it's a halter. So hopefully, hopefully someone gets it and I'm really excited about it. See? One piece right there. All right. The next item that I found is actually just for myself. I picked up this cute little dress for myself. It's just a no boundaries dress. And I paid $5 for it. It's sheer, but it has a slip, a black slip underneath. So I tried it on, super cute. I was actually wearing some booties today. Um, and they looked really cute with the booties. Okay, so the next dress that I picked up, I won't be able to show you the entire thing on camera because it's a long dress, but it is a, who is it by? It's a Lauren, Ralph Lauren evening dress. And it's this beautiful navy blue dress. And it's got like a slit to one side. So I have three weddings this year. I never have weddings, um, but this year for whatever reason, I have three weddings that I have to go to. And so I definitely will be wearing this one to one of them. And I think I know which one I'm going to wear it to. Um, but it was $5. It's a Ralph Lauren and it's an evening gown. And it's got these beautiful little sparkles. I tried it on. It looked amazing. So very, very happy about that find. Very happy. Are you guys ready for my best find yet? Best find yet. $5 dresses. I picked up this new with tags anthropology hutch dress. What? Originally priced, let me show you guys so that you can see. Originally priced at $148. What? So I've been looking the comps up for these. These sell for at least $50. So I'm really, really excited about it. I made sure to check it and recheck it, make sure nothing was wrong with it because yes, I have done that. I have purchased things where I'm like really excited about it and then come to find out something's wrong with it. Excuse me, let me fix this here. Nothing is wrong with this dress. It's an amazing condition. I have no idea why someone donated it, but here it is. This is what it looks like. It's in a size extra small. It's got this cute, I wish I was an extra small. I could wear it. It's got this cute closure on the back. The closure works perfectly. Still has the tags. Again, no idea what's, why someone would donate this, but thank you very much whoever donated this. Um, I'm going to be posting it on my Posh and eBay. And I think I'm going to ask like 60 for it in hopes that somebody will pay 50 for it. I'm not sure yet, but this pretty much paid for my entire thrift trip. This dress should pay for the entire thrift trip. So it was such an exciting find. Again, dresses were $5, so that's just awesome. But that is it for all of my items. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys stick around till the end. If you like thrift videos and if you like this video particularly, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll make sure to link my other thrifting videos up in the card. Have a great night. Bye!